Hi, welcome to The Real McNeils. I am in the Walmart parking lot. I'm about to head in and do a Walmart haul. There are a bunch of things that we're needing. I want to pick up a few things for the kids for Easter. I need to pick up baskets for the girls and some of the grass that goes in it. I've never done baskets before, so this is a new one for us. If they don't have the supplies to make baskets, then I'll have to just revert to my old way of doing things just with an egg hunt and things like that. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to pick up for our Easter dinner and also some baking that I wanna do because I want to make some hot cross buns and a few things like that. So come along with me and check out our Walmart and see what I'm here to get today. See if I can find all the things to use my coupons. I've got my fistful of coupons here. I'm gonna show you what I've picked up so far. I've picked up two buckets. I'm going to go with buckets instead of baskets. So we've got the bunny one. We've got a unicorn one for Tiggy. I've grabbed a Malteser bunny, a Chips Ahoy egg, a caramel egg, and Addison loves Kit Kat and you can get it in bunny shape. How cool is that? She's going to be so excited. Our favorite toothpaste again. Some of the grass to go into the bottom of these buckets. And then I have bought Tegan, Caden, and Addison each one of these chocolate bunnies. We don't usually do big chocolate bunnies. We actually use just the eggs. So it's going to be different this year. I'm still debating whether or not I need to go back and get one for Kieran because he might actually like one too. I don't want it all to be chocolate and goodies. I want to get something useful. So I am also looking for some chalk for the girls and they really need some new pencil crayons. Some of theirs have gotten so short that they're hard to use. Okay, these are $16.94, so I've pulled it up on Amazon, and it turns out that it's the same price on Amazon. I thought it was kind of expensive, but it's not. So do I choose the regular colored pencils, or these ones up here are $13.94 for $60, and they have metallic in them. <laughs> I have to decide which one they would like best. I never find that the other brands last as well as these ones do, and the girls are pretty heavy coloring girls. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the hundred. I know that they like the metallic, but there's a lot more colors in this one. For those of you who had noticed that Caden sprayed the really cool clover leaves on the girls' faces, this is what he used. It's an older version of it. This is much smaller. This is the Crayola version, $27.97. So if you're interested in having one, that's just Walmart and they're not that expensive. I am currently looking for the foldable wagon that I've been looking for in Costco and I didn't like the one that they had because it doesn't have rubber tires so I'm going to see if I can find one here. They had advertised one in their flyer. Success in finding the wagons, but plastic tires again. I do not understand why they're making them with plastic tires. It doesn't make sense. They're gonna be so noisy to pull behind you. So I guess the quest continues trying to find the wagon that will work for us. I have coupons for two free Temptations 85 gram packets of treats for our kitten. So I just have to decide which one to get because there's actually quite a few. I didn't realize that there were this many. These are $1.98 each. I could spend up to $2.50. This one's tuna, salmon, and shrimp. And this one is salmon. She seems to like fish best. Back to kitty litter. I feel like I'm constantly trying to figure out kitty litter. The last one came from Costco. I feel like I'm having an allergic reaction to it. So I would really like to switch to something different and see if that works better. I don't want it scented. There's so many things. I hate how it tracks all over our house. I think this is what I'm using right now, but this one is clumping and I would prefer that. And so we're going to give this one a try and it's $11.98, so it's not a bad price. Never having had an indoor cat, I had absolutely no clue that there were so many different types of cat litter. It's kind of mind blowing and trying to find the one that works best for us and our cat. Like she's not picky, but I am. I don't like the smell. I don't like all of the gross things that go with it. And it's been a challenge for sure. I'm grabbing some of the Great Value sour cream because I'm making beef stroganoff tomorrow night. The other thing I've grabbed are these Astro Originals because they're three for seven and we go through plain yogurt making smoothies and in recipes and things like that. And clams. These are $2.77 and the kids have been wanting to make clam chowder, specifically Kieran. I have everything else I need so I'm going to grab two cans of clams. 
We've actually been having a really hard time finding fresh ones and so we're just going to resort to the canned ones. They work. That's what I grew up having with my clam chowder. I have had a viewer request that I show how I make my clam chowder so I will be sure to do that. I love clam chowder. It's the best. It brings back memories of the Oregon coast. There's one restaurant that's specifically that makes amazing clam chowder soup in a bread bowl. Next up is Chapman's, which is a Canadian company. So I have a $4 off coupon on an ice cream of my choice and they have a lot to choose from. They are very Canadian. Most of their stuff is made in a nut-free facility so people with nut allergies can eat them and we love them. They are absolutely delicious. The hard part is making a decision on which one we want. I'm kind of drawn to, I love they all say Canadian across them, all have a Canadian flag. I'm kind of drawn to the bumpy bars. They have brownie in them. So I think we're gonna go with those today. Okay, it's hard to pass up crescent rolls when they're only 97 cents each. So I'm going to grab a few of those. They go, they make all sorts of different recipes. And a little splurge for these. These are $3.97. They're kind of expensive for cookies, but they have a bunny in them. This might be new to us up here. I haven't seen these before. Coca-Cola energy drinks. I am not buying them, but I had no idea that they even existed. There's a few different ones. High caffeine, Coca-Cola energy drink. The Michelinas are six for $6, and I'm going to grab six of them. This is not something we do very often. It's a treat for the kids, and they love it something about the little individual sizes and just like kind of being a quick meal for them. I went with fettuccine alfredo for the boys. For Bailey I grabbed a poutine which I've never seen before. I didn't even know they did that. And then for the younger girls I got macaroni and cheese. We can't come here without stocking up on chips. They're 97 cents each and the family loves them. Salt and vinegar. Bailey likes to feed the dog. These horse mackerel or sardines. I'm going to go with the horse mackerel today. And I'm going to grab Bailey some beef jerky instead of going with um, chocolate because she doesn't prefer chocolate. So this is $4.47. Grabbing a bag of red lentils because I'm out and I love red lentil soup. I was going to grab Clancy a British marmalade because he loves it and I'm in the British section and they don't have any here. I don't know if it's just this location or what, but they don't have any. It should be somewhere around there and it's not. There are so many carts today. So noisy in here. Chippets are only $2.67, so I'm going to grab mini ones for pancakes, some milk ones for baking, and then I think I'll wait until I buy the big bag at Costco. Fruit by the Foot is on sale. Look, they have Starburst all pink. I can see the girls loving that one. So I'm going to grab three. It's three for six. So I'm going to grab this one and we'll do Rippin' Berry. This cart is starting to get full for a Walmart haul. Don't usually shop here this much. Grabbing icing sugar because it seems like we always need it and we're always out. Walmart is supposed to have turkeys that cost a different amount according to their size and they don't. They have butterball ones or else they have ones that are $1.97 a pound. So I actually came here for a turkey and that's not happening. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might end up having to go to a Safeway or Sobeys because we really need a turkey. That was what our whole plan was, was to have a turkey for Easter. So we might have to regroup and figure this one out. So there's Nutella and then there is Kraft Hazelnut. This is $3.97 for this jar and we've been waiting to try this. We have $1 off on Rice Krispies and they're actually on sale. Same thing for mini wheats. We're going to try the unfrosted with cocoa in the middle. I found Clancy a Seville orange marmalade. We're going to give that a try. That one's $2.97. And I need apricot jam for my hot cross buns. And that one is $4.98. And sweet potatoes are 64 cents a pound. I'm going to grab a few of those. I grabbed four green peppers because Costco never has green peppers in their pepper bags that I buy. And I always use them in the spaghetti sauce and things like that. Bailey and I have these hoodies. But now I'm noticing this year that they also have a sweatshirt and that's pretty cute. Back to the quest for socks. So I'm kind of looking at these ones here. These ones seem like they would be good across the top. 
And then there are these ones that say that they're a comfort top, but you can see how huge it is right there. There is no way that that's gonna stay on your leg, not a chance. So I'm gonna take my chance on these guys here and see how they go. I also grabbed oranges, I didn't vlog that. It is getting nuts in here and it's getting harder to vlog as I go. So socks and oranges. Fail on the turkey and the chalk. That I wanted a big bucket of chalk with a whole bunch of different colors. So I will keep looking. I don't know if I'll find it before Easter. Oh, and I'm done. Oh my goodness, was that intense in there. It got so busy. The lineup right at the end, I kind of tried to show it. I was like fifth or sixth in line and it just got super busy up at the front. Thankfully, the guy that was checking me out, he was super sweet because I had a few coupons. I don't use coupons very often, but today I had a handful and I hate to be the person that holds up the line when it's so busy. My total today came to 171 05. I didn't get the turkey, I didn't get the wagon, and I didn't get chalk. So I wasn't totally successful because we still have no meat for our Easter dinner, but that's okay. And I did discover that the really loud noises in there were actually the carts that they're using now to deliver groceries. And so they were just coming and going and coming and going. And it was extremely loud and it made it hard to vlog. So next time I do Walmart, I will buy my stuff and I will show you guys when I get home because that was kind of insane. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to check out our family vlogs and my grocery hauls and other hauls that I do. And have a great day. We'll see you soon.